Well, this Black History Month, we're kicking off a series highlighting the people and places that make up Omaha's black history. Well, first up is an area of town with a significant impact on the black community here in Omaha. Three News Time reporter Ron Johnson joins us live with more from North 24th and Lake Street. Ron, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. You know, North 24th Street, it might not be what it used to, but make no mistake, this is still an area that's rich with history and influence. And it's Patricia Allen's goal to make sure that history isn't forgotten. They first called it the deuce and a quarter. And then they called it the deuce four. But knowing us, we just knocked off the deuce and a quarter and the deuce four and straight up called it the deuce. Patricia Allen knows her neighborhood well. She grew up near North 26th and Seward and remembers the thriving community of the North 24th Street Corridor, a time when black Omahans started their own businesses, bringing everything you could think of. I was actually able to visit some of these shops and restaurants, doctors, all of that. Her sense of pride in the community inspired her to write The Deuce, a book documenting it all. Allen's book documents the history of what is known as the Deuce, a history full of businesses that lined both sides of 24th Street. There were at least 200 businesses that were black businesses down on 24th Street. As you peruse through the book, you'll see that there's a five or six pages of just businesses that was from 24th and Cumming Street to 24th and Lake and beyond, and I'll say 24th and Ohio also. It's a walk down memory lane for Allen and everyone else who remembers what 24th Street used to be. But for younger generations, Allen says, it's a different story. Young people have no idea of our history. They have no idea what a great area it was. And those that are living in the community now don't have the pride that we had because they don't see anything. But we had everything. There was nothing that we needed. That history is both good and bad. Allen remembers what happened here in the late 1960s that likely led to the neighborhood's downfall. 14-year-old girl who was killed by a police officer. And then there was the burning of the deuce in June of 1969. So a lot of buildings were torched and rioting. Today, 24th Street is still recovering from those events over half a century later. Allen is aware of ideas to develop the corridor once again, though she wants to see to it what comes here honors what was here. If they could preserve the history, I, I think that would be the greatest thing of all, if they could bring back something. But in 54 years, I, I have no idea. Now we should mention millions of dollars is on its way to this corridor here on North 24th Street. And you heard Patrice just say there, she wants to make sure whatever improvements happen here, preserve the history of this neighborhood. You can get the deuce on Amazon for $25 and Alan plans to have a book signing coming up a little later this month. Live in North Omaha this morning, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now. Ron, thank you so much. Fascinating interview, we sure appreciate it. Wow, you know, so many people have knowledge about so many things. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, we should write a book about that. I love that she actually yep. took time out and did it. <laughs> yeah. She had all that information in her head and put it on paper. And like she said, I mean, she experienced it all. Mm -hmm. This isn't, you know, something where you're just writing about what happened. She was there for it, yeah. which makes it even more special. Oh, I love it. And I love the pictures, too, that she was able to find, too, because for mm -hmm. those of us that weren't there at the time, mm -hmm. it's great to have that pure visual of what exactly it looked yeah. like and how it used to be. I want it. I want the book. <laughs>